the overall review uh, for this mixer is really good. I've been using it for one year now. And the only reason I'm going to change from this mixer is I'm going to upgrade to the Pile Professional. So in my next video, I'm going to show you the comparison of the Pile uh, Standard Mixing Board versus the Pile Professional, which just adds a few more buttons as far as muting effects and some sliders. But overall, the Pile mixers are just amazing. Um, I've been really happy with the quality, the price, the build, everything about the Pile mixer. Zero complaints. So hope you like this video and it helps you out. All right, let's do a new test recording. Check mic one. Check mic two. I'm going to turn them down a little bit. It's pretty loud. There we go. This is going to be my final review of the Pile PMX U83 BT mixer. It's a great little 8 channel Bluetooth USB mixer. And today I am talking through mic two. I did have mic one over here, and I've got another microphone over here that I'm, I can turn the effects up on, and that's microphone one, and I'm going to turn that one down, and I'm going to move over here, and physically, behind the camera, I'm speaking into a different mic, and that's mic two, and it also has the gain, the high, medium, and low setting, the effects setting, which I can change. Everybody wants to know about the effects in these mixers, so I'll start there. The digital effects are really cool. You can change that right here. I'm on program number four out of 16. And I simply change the selector and wait just a minute and the new effect will take place. And I can adjust the repeat level, get more of that echo repeat with this knob, and then the total volume of the effect here across the entire board. So that's the program, 16 uh, DSP digital multi-effects program switch right here repeat and level now for each line I've got the yellow knob as well so I could turn the effects down for this channel that I'm talking through right here I could turn my volume up my gain is the amplification of that mic so I don't need it this is a very sensitive mic it's a newer uh, NW700 Amazon mic you see a lot, the newer, N-E-E-W-E-R, and it's about a $30 mic. It works really well. XLR mic powered through the 48-volt phantom power, which you can turn on and off each channel. You could pad the channel to quiet it down, but we don't do that with mics. Um, and as long as you understand each channel, so channel 1, 2, 3, 4, all the knobs are the same. We've got the gain the high, medium, and low frequency adjustment, the effects level, and the volume. So then we move across the board, channel 3, 4, 5, and 6, which are inputs here. Could be a guitar amp or a keyboard in 5 and 6. 7 and 8 is the USB. So 7 and 8 will be either the USB, as it's labeled here, or channel 7 and 8 mono channels. So those are your 8 channels. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And really, it's, it's, it's similar to what you'll see in four-channel mixers, where there's four inputs up here. Sometimes it's one, two, three, four. So it's a matter of how many mics you want to plug in and what types of devices. Here I can do two, three, maybe four mics, or a guitar amp, as well as use the USB function to my PC as the USB interface back and forth, which is how I like to use it. And then I've also got main outputs here, and today we're using the main outputs with an RCA adapter from the quarter inch to the RCA and up into a little 1 8 inch jack into the GoPro. So there's a lot of ways you can get the output into either your phone, your GoPro camera, or out to some powered speakers if you want to hear it out loud. Either way, um, You've got a lot of options for output. We've also got, and I have adapters like this all over the place, things that we can use to, to do that. We've got the send and control. Send and return, I should say. Send and return for effects and other items that you want the sound to pass through. The control room out. This would be an output to go to a, another area to monitor the sound, so you can use that as an output. Headphones out. We're using that so that I can hear myself through the microphone and um, you get the powered mics and it sounds like a DJ. You can hear everything that's going on through the mixer in the headphones. 
and there you can adjust your headphones level up and down here. This is the main output for the board. So if you're recording or doing anything through the main outputs here, this will be the level. And I just kind of keep it set at zero. It can go all the way down to minus and pull some power back if you need to. And it can slide way up into the plus 10 decibel area if you want to amp up your sound. Um, have we missed anything here? The overall review uh, for this mixer is really good. I've been using it for one year now. And the only reason I'm going to change from this mixer is I'm going to upgrade to the Pile Professional. So in my next video, I'm going to show you the comparison of the Pile uh, Standard Mixing Board versus the Pile Professional, which just adds a few more buttons as far as muting effects and some sliders. But overall, the Pile mixers are just amazing. Um, I've been really happy with the quality, the price, the build, everything about the Pile mixer. Zero complaints. So hope you like this video and it helps you out. The last thing we didn't talk about, and a lot of people are interested in this, of course, is the USB function as well as the Bluetooth connection. So the Bluetooth connection could be for any Bluetooth device. It's typically a, a computer or a phone. And we would push the mode over to Bluetooth. There we go. This might work. And we grab our phone. And we can connect our phone via Bluetooth and we could play some music through the board or do something like that if you're a DJ. The thing about the Bluetooth, and I hardly ever use it, is because you can't use the Bluetooth and the USB at the same time. You do have to choose. They're both on channel 7 and 8, and that's why there's a selector switch here for USB or channel 7, 8 as an input this way or use it as a Bluetooth. So there's three options for channel 7 and 8, but you need to choose. Typically, I'm going USB. Um, but this is how you would connect your Bluetooth device and it will control your phone and all the tracks and things like that with these buttons. I'm going to go back to PC. That's how that works. I think that's everything about the Pile Mixer. I hope this was helpful. If you've got questions, and I know you will, about this mixer or any other audio mixing board, USB interface, um, they're all pretty similar. They all might operate a little different. Everybody's setup is different. So pop your questions in the comments. Like and subscribe to this video and the channel. Really appreciate it. Thanks a lot. We'll see you next time.